Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions and 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome to you um, new tuning into the channel. This is going to be a general reading for the collective. Um, this will be uh, mostly about twin flames, okay? Since this is about the 444 portal, uh, meaning today is April 4th, 2020, and those the twos uh, equal four. Okay, I don't know why I put this over here. I'm ahead of myself. I'm using a lot of decks today, you guys, so I have to try to keep on track because the Virgo in me will not allow this video to go be split into two parts, okay? <laughs> so anyway, this is going to be general. It's not going to resonate with every uh, twin flame out there or if it picks up soulmate uh, energy. Um, it's not going to resonate with everyone. So do please keep that in mind. If you find yourself with more questions and answers, it's probably not your reading. Don't try to make it fit. Um, I do offer personal readings. So if you are interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in the description with the link, as well as uh, all the decks I'll be using here today. The jellyfish lamp, jellyfish are not real. Um, my Instagram information, if you want to support the channel, um, that information is also going to be below. Also, um, just a quick note uh, that for those of you who have been trying to purchase the cards on my deck uh, that ran into a couple problems trying to find the buttons, I've updated that page to make it a little more simpler, a little more easier. Um, so if you want to pre-order my um, newly created deck, uh, Intuitive Envisions 1111 Twin Flame Messages, um, that is, it's been updated, okay, to make it easier. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get the general energy surrounding this um, 444 portal um, for what's going on in the Twin Flame connection um, dynamic and uh, get the energies and then what's basically um, being released, you know, lessons and things of that nature, um, how the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine are, are feeling and their uh, mutual uh, energy in this connection. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. I will go ahead and shuffle the rest of the cards I'm going to be using here as I go along. I do shuffle all cards um, prior to coming on camera. So even if you didn't see me uh, shuffle it like the way I'm doing it right now, I do do it beforehand. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So these are some energies. I'm going to get like three energies surrounding this portal. Yeah, this is the Shadows of Light, and we have number 17, and there's 8 showing right up. There's that 2 4s. Uh, I did an earlier reading today, and the 8 and the 4s were coming up, which is, you know, 8 if you divide it in half is 2 4s. Strangely lonely, holding on way too tight. So someone could be um, in the energy of possibly holding on way too tight to being alone, being by themselves. This energy could be changing. Okay, or someone could be uh, addressing it. This is a psychic tarot for the heart. And then we have number, uh, this is seven of swords. It says seek the truth. Okay, so there is someone that is possibly not being truthful about being alone, feeling alone, and the need to seek the truth. Because as you see, this is someone is open and they're looking outside. Um, Seven of Swords is about getting away, uh, being sneaky, a behavior. So someone has been getting away from the truth, truth of maybe how they've been feeling lonely, uh, lonely without the other or lonely in this connection. And they're seeking the truth, wanting to go outside, look, look, you know, outside uh, uh, into towards the light is what I'm getting. So this is the uh, energy oracle cards. Look at that. 44. <laughs> you just can't. You just cannot make it up. Okay. You can't. <laughs> and then we have seven, which is spiritually guided. So the spirit I'm also getting with that is um, spirit, the universe, angels, spirit guides are guiding this person to open up this curtain, open up their mind and look, seek the truth, seek the truth about how they're feeling, if they're al feeling alone in this uh, connection or alone, just period going outside, going deeper inside the mind. So then when you, you have number 44 woman holding a heart. Okay. So someone could be 
a seeking um this could be divine masculine or divine feminine or it could be both okay um this is angelic presence as well with these fours here woman holding a heart someone is um what I'm feeling is they're seeking to go outside looking for this woman with the heart or the woman with the heart is uh, seeking to get away from this energy of being lonely. It can apply in both situations. OK, so just keep in mind that energies can be flipped. But this is someone that has um, uh, a heart to give, have an offer, have a, a heart to offer. So this um, divine feminine could be seeking to offer her heart to someone else. We have uh, butterflies here or the masculine is seeking to um, go outside of this energy of being lonely and um, seeking this this woman that's holding uh, his heart possibly. Okay. All right. So let's get some more uh, energies down here. Okay. So let's see what the um, main uh, focus is going to be. Like, uh, what are we going to be addressing? So this is the uh, uh, Kipper cards. I'm going to give three cards for the energies that are going to be being addressed during this uh, portal people or situations 38 you have 11 there you go spiritual alignment twin flame connections toil and labor this is about taking a risk this is also can be about doing something you don't want to do so someone could be there's two factors i'm picking up here that it can apply is that someone is either taking a risk to go outside to look for love and then someone can no longer wanting to be in this energy of being lonely without uh, this love energy is what I'm getting and we have wealthy male another four <laughs> just like I just I uh, it just amazed me okay wealthy man <laughs> this could be the divine masculine he could be willing to take a risk or this could be another masculine energy somebody that is you know a, bi a business person <clears throat> excuse me sorry for a second i think i'm talking too fast energy is coming out way too quickly i'm just gonna sip some water also my allergies are on 1000 because it's super windy here in las vegas the pollen is like on cars and everything i woke up with one of my eyes shut so <laughs> from the freaking fluid of whatever anyway let me continue on so wealthy man this could be somebody that's an entrepreneur somebody that works for themselves or focused on their money um that is uh, another factor so we have taken a risk and we have wealthy male uh with a toll and labor i should say wealthy male And we have despair. Number five, change. Okay. So someone is wanting to get out of this energy. Okay. Uh, this is, you know, feeling sad, feeling down and out, loss energy. Um, someone is possibly wanting to take a risk. Maybe there's also somebody that might want to apologize because uh, they're feeling lost down and out. They're, they're seeking the truth here. So there is some, some energy here surrounding a masculine energy that is uh, possibly sad um uh, feeling lonely maybe wanting to take a risk and some of you guys could be taking a risk with another uh masculine uh, energy so i'm going to go ahead and see um what is being surrendered um through this portal like what is being um let go what is you know what is being released okay so this is the soul journeys card There it is. Loneliness. Strangely lonely. That's no coincidence. That's for sure. I know that I'm never alone. Okay. So this is what, what's being released is um, you or your twin or both um, are surrendering being lonely. Don't want to be in this energy of, of being a uh, uh, alone and it's and it says i know that i'm never alone so you may know that um you have uh you know opportunities for love or you are in, in alignment with yourself you you're feeling secure you know that you have a lot to offer and you just no longer in this energy of wanting to be alone uh, for some of you is being in this despair towards this person you you don't want um 
to be in that energy of uh, feeling uh, sadness or loneliness. So you are willing to take a risk, you know, and seek the truth, go outside and look for love. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So both you and the divine masculine could be in this energy as well. All right. So what is the welcoming energy uh, for this portal? What's being welcomed? What's, what's coming in? Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So death, endings bring about new beginnings. So death to the old and then um, birth to the new. Rebirth to the new. So that's what you're, you're welcoming in. You're welcoming an end to this loneliness or feeling that you need to be in this uh, energy of despair and sadness. That's what's you're welcoming this and you're welcoming in this major transformation, this major change, which is um, actually really, really uh, positive. All right. So um, let me see what else I wanted to do here. Um, Divine masculine uh, energy. Let's see. What is uh, opening up in the divine masculine's mind? Okay. I'm going to see what is opening. These are the steampunk tarot. What is opening in the divine masculine's mind uh, when it comes to the divine feminine? The will of fortune, change, destiny, fate. Things are changing in the mind okay so changing a way of thinking that's what's opening in the divine masculine's mind so let's see what's uh changing in the divine feminine's mind when it comes to the divine masculine justice another 11 so you have two 11s here tons of fours <laughs> um this is about balance Okay, this is about being at peace as well. So the divine uh, feminine is finding um, balance in the mind when it comes to the divine masculine. So what is their uh, shared mutual energy for each other that's opening? Three of swords, heartbreak, separation. Could be third party. Could be wanting to get away from this energy. Getting away from that. Or it could be separation. So we'll we'll see why this is. Uh, we do have this loneliness uh, with this death here and into this heartbreak. Um, that's kind of what I'm I'm getting is the mutual energy is the both is wanting to get away from this uh, heartbreak, heartbreak, sadness, and loneliness. So let's go ahead and get some more information. Tell me more about what's being changed in the mind in the divine masculine when it comes to the divine feminine. Conclusion. So this is um, change. A decision about change. About an ending. Uh, possibly an ending to loneliness. Seeking the truth. An end to sadness. And what's going on with the feminine in the mind when it comes to divine masculine? Why is justice here? Reinvention. So she's thinking of reinventing this balance in her mental space. So there is, she has a strong need for balance. She must have balance. She's no longer wanting to be in this energy of loneliness and sadness. So she's looking to go outside. She's being open to possibly looking outside uh, other ways of uh, happiness and fulfillment. So why is the three of swords here as their mutual energy for each other? Yep, muse, inspiration, start over, start with a blank slate. They're wanting to paint over this. Both of them are wanting to release this heartbreak and sadness, this loneliness feeling. 
I'm no longer wanting to be in that energy. That's what I'm getting. Some of you, again, this could involve a third party with this Three of Swords here. Maybe they're wanting to wipe, uh, uh, start a clean slate. Possibly thinking about looking outside towards a third party situation. Um, for those that might already be involved in a third party, they might be looking to um, look outside of that connection uh, for the Divine Mask. And then they could be looking to... Uh, leave this situation in order to start new and divine feminine could be looking towards starting over with a third party so like they're both in the same energy but for different reasons um that's what i'm getting if that makes sense to you guys all right so let's go ahead and get some more um energy here i'm going to try to like yeah i'm going to use this in the mind space. So these are um, the cards I created. Intuitive and Visions 1111 11, Twin Flame Messages. Tell me more about what's going on in the mind space. What this Divine Masculine is being open when it comes to Divine Feminine. I heard a song today and it was you speaking to me. Okay. So I'm picking up two things with this that... This Divine Masculine, like, possibly have got heard a song that you were basically telling like you were o over and, and it was done. Like a song, like you were speaking to him. You know, maybe some very profound lyrics um, that, you know, it was over between you or you were going to look outside. And this could have started the will of change in this Divine Masculine's energy and made him feel like this, in this energy of... Um, lonely and not wanting to be in this energy of being sad um possibly without the divine feminine that's kind of what i'm picking up here and for others um just like a song about um endings a change that someone needed to make make a change um something about change in a song okay uh with the divine masculine so we do have the number 10 here was about endings endings bring about the new beginnings and then you do have a progression here, 10 and 11, what I just noticed here, which would be 111. Yeah, there is movement forward. Yep. Okay. Tell me more about the Divine Feminine in her mind, what she opened to in the mind when it comes to Divine Masculine. I miss you much. So she realizes this, okay? She realizes that she misses the divine masculine, but there is, she knows that she has to um, balance out this uh, energy, any kind of mental conflict when it comes to divine masculine. She's wanting this connection, but she also knows that there is a need for balance, that she has to balance herself when it comes to this uh, masculine energy. Okay, and tell me what about their uh, mutual energy with this Three of Swords and the Muse. You are consuming my thoughts. So this is a heartbreak that they both are feeling. And they're just, they don't want to be in this energy of uh, feeling this heartbreak, this pain. They, they want to start over. They both want to start over. They want to, you know, start with a blank slate. And this heartbreak is inspiring them too. Um, to change, to go outside of this energy of feeling alone. So let me get some uh, more information in the mind, the, the Divine Masculine when it comes to Divine Feminine. This is the Island Time Wellness cards. Hammer, Sabotage, Rebuilding. Interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Yeah. Okay, so in the mind, when it comes to divine uh, feminine, this divine masculine realized that he possibly sabotaged this re relationship. And the song could have been about um, this uh, relationship of how he sabotaged it, like his chance for happiness, which is reason why this loneliness and this despair. And this could be playing over and over in his mind because we do have the Wheel of Fortune, which is um, 
you know, things turning. And um, I feel like this is what's causing a, a decision that he made to possibly end something that was uh, fated, um, that was destined. And uh, this is what he is possibly being open to, that he has some responsibility in this, that he may have sabotaged his relationship. And then what's going on in Divine Feminine's mind when it comes to the Divine Masculine? Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth. Time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Just like what I was saying, this Divine Feminine is focused on that she needs to balance herself she might even be missing who she really was missing the person that she is reinventing herself no longer wanting to be in this energy of loneliness and sadness and um yeah she realized that you know it's time it's time to focus on herself reinvent herself even though she misses divine masculine and so their mutual energy coffin so there's the coffin and death is in this reading twice there's definitely some type of ending to loneliness and sadness and despair is what i'm getting there's an ending to that endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition yep an ending to this heartbreak and sadness this is coming to an end at least this is the both energies they're both are wanting to come to an end all right so let's go ahead and see what's going on in the heart of the divine masculine. I'm just going to move these over. Just in case I need to refer to these. Okay. So what's going on in the, in the heart? Um, what's opening in the heart when it comes to the Divine Masculine um, in the, um, on the Divine Masculine part when it comes to the Divine Feminine. Sorry, I got to put these cards back. I almost lost them, so I got to reshuffle this. Um, what's going on in, uh, what's opening in the Divine Masculine's heart when it comes to the Divine Feminine with this portal? The Lovers 6. Balance, the lovers, twin flame connections, that ultimate passionate love. Um, this is what's opening, that passionate love, woman holding a heart. I'm not going to mention the signs today, you guys, um, as far as, you know, who it regards, because I really think this is all twin flame connection. I mean, I'll go ahead and tell you what this is. It's Gemini, but it really, I don't think this portal energy has anything to do with the signs. I think it just has to do with twin flame connections in general. All right. So what's going on in the heart? What's being opened in the heart when it comes to the divine masculine and the divine feminine's part? Ten of Wands is burden. She's like, um, she's carrying a burden in the heart. Like she's still going to carry it, I feel like, uh, you know, the feelings that she has for the divine masculine. But I, I, I feel that she's ready to, you know, release it like she's strong enough to carry it. Because as you see this, this uh, feminine in this picture, she doesn't seem to be struggling with this. OK, like she has it. There's other things. There's pictures being dropped like she's holding it is what I'm getting like she's she's holding it like this is just a burden that she has to carry um like she's that's what i'm getting okay so what's the mutual energy uh between the two of them in the heart space this opening look at that ten of pentacles you have two tens there's not tens 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 are everywhere endings new beginnings this is about a solid um relationship uh foundation uh family um this could involve properties sales uh, at time um as you see this person um with this feminine energy uh some of you could be readers or psychic or empaths um but i see this as you know this feminine holds the card to this 
relationship. Like she's holding a heart, she also holds the cards to this relationship. That's what I'm I'm getting. Okay, and they both might know this. All right. So let's go ahead and get some more about what's opening in the heart on the divine masculine part when it comes to the divine feminine. Fall. Okay. So this is um this could be something that's going to take place in the future in the fall season or maybe around um the fall months um October um, September, October, November, um, fall in the United States uh, time is what I'm mentioning. So you just uh, take it how it resonates in your uh, situation. So there also could have, like I said, this could be something that's tied to a, a fall, um, the past. Because I'm getting like two energies with this. So there's something in... Something maybe this divine masculine is being open to that he might have not been open to when it comes to the fall season. Maybe he's been closed-minded since the fall season and that's changing. Hopefully it'll tell me more when I get it out. And the divine feminine in the heart space was opening. Devotion. So what's opening is a, a devotion possibly to um, either carrying this burden or releasing this burden. Like carrying some of the weight is almost what I'm kind of getting from this in the heart space. Carrying some of the weight of this connection. This also comes up to me as offers. So we'll see. This energy in the heart space is a little bit different. So... Yeah, I, I feel also that some are being open to releasing the burden, okay? Like being devoted to like going somewhere else, taking that burden somewhere else. That's kind of what I'm getting. All right, so what's their mutual energy in the heart space that's opening? Recognition. Recognition of this relationship. Recognition of the value of what they want, a mutual feeling. This also comes up to me for those that are going to, um, you know, come face to face with your person. Um, also, this could be in, in your dreams. You might get a recognition of uh, this connection in your dream as well. But they both recognize this relationship and they recognize that they want to be together, that they want this ultimate relationship, this ultimate family. They're both tired of being alone and recognizing the value as well. Okay. So let's get some more energy of what's opening in the Divine Masculine's heart when it comes to the Divine Feminine. I want to escape with you. Okay, so this divine masculine is being open that he wants to um, escape with you in his heart. He feels that passion. It wants, like his heart wants to, it's, it's like calling out for you to escape. This is, uh, yeah, yeah. This is, I got in like an energy of just feeling that overwhelming like when i created this card of somebody just so overwhelmed by the burdens of life and everything that they just want to get away they just want to go with you and just relieve all their their problems of the world and we do have that seek the truth of this person is kind of like opening you know wanting to get outside of there so something is opening in the heart of possibly you know coming to you escaping from their situation to go somewhere with you in the heart space. And then what about the divine feminine? In the heart space. I'm getting the help that I need. So in the heart space. Divine feminine is feeling like very burdened. And she's devoted to getting help. When it comes to this connection. 
the heaviness that she's been feeling of the burdens of this. She's getting the help that she needs, um, probably from spiritual um, guidance, you know, seeking information from her guides, angels, you know, signs, things of that nature. But she's getting the help that she needs of this heavy uh, burden. She's open to this. She's open to, um, you know, dealing with this burden that she's been carrying in the heart space when it comes to divine masculine. And then their mutual energy in the heart space. I never thought we would be apart this long. Yeah. So they're both feeling that distance, that separation, that loneliness. See, that loneliness is coming through very strongly. Both are feeling the effects of this connection of being apart. And they both recognize this, this relationship is... Um, they feel lost without the other one and they they want um, an end to that loneliness uh, feeling they both feel that so let me go ahead and get some more additional information here in the divine masculine's heart space the sword and rose clarity truth revelation solidarity Force, honor, protection, and power. So there's truth. This divine masculine has truth in his heart space when it comes to this connection with the divine feminine. He's opening. He's open to uh, giving this truth, uh, giving this rut, uh, this rose, this love, this clarity. He's open in the heart space. It's opening up. Clarity is opening. He's seeking the truth in the heart space. Divine feminine in the heart space. When it comes to divine masculine. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Okay, so divine feminine is open um, to her options to release this burden of the divine masculine. See, they're in different um, places here in the heart space. She's been carrying the weight of this connection for a while. And she's open to, to looking at her other options, uh, possibly going outside of this um, connection. Um, maybe while she continues to carry this burden, this space for the Divine Masculine. But she's open to um, possibly going outside of this um, connection when it comes to the Divine Masculine. That's what I'm getting. And then their mutual energy in the heart space. The chaser. They both want to chase each other, okay, in this connection. This mutual chaser, chaser in a gold, <laughs> I can't speak, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue, okay? So they're both wanting to chase the other. They're starting to feel the chase. That's what's opening up in the heart space that they're open to this energy, okay? They're starting to feel it. Like I feel like it's starting to return because of the distance. That makes sense. All right. So let me go ahead and put these up here. And I'm going to get intentions. And that's going to be it. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> you just got to witness my clumsiness. I'm going to, like, knock down the cup. I'm surprised it hasn't happened more so in other videos, to be honest with you. Because my, my clumsy game is, like, 1,000 all the time. It never sleeps. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get intentions of the divine masculine. What is he um, open to um, when it comes to the divine masculine, <laughs> the divine feminine? What is the divine masculine open to in the, their intentions when it comes to the divine feminine? Two of Wands. So Two of Wands is a card of being at a crossroads, needing to make a decision, but it also can be about partnerships. So we'll see what he's open to in his uh, intentions when it comes to Divine Feminine. And what about the Divine Feminine? What is she open to in her intentions when it comes to Divine Masculine? Eight of Pentacles. Of putting the work in, putting that effort into it. 
she's open to it. So you do have another eight there. Because this is about putting that, that effort in. And then what is their mutual energy shared in their intentions for each other? Death. Wow. This has come up. This is major transformation is going on here in this connection. Um, again, and that's another four. Okay. Because 13, the one and three is four. So there's a major transformation. Okay. Um, and as you see this person, they have a, there's a rose there. There's a grave behind there. Um, there's possibly, um, they both are open to this, um, you know, being over or at least over to the, the end of whatever took place in the past, or maybe end in a situation that they're in or, or into the loneliness. So we'll see why that's there. The transformation, the death card is super strong. I'm also picking up putting it into um, putting the effort of being at a crossroads, like not being in this energy of just waiting there and waiting um, to figure out which road you're going to take, you know, making a decision. So let me see what is divine masculine's intentions. It's open to when it comes to divine feminine. Patience. Okay, patience is the energy of the temperance card, which is balanced action and emotion. So there, um, I feel like this is uh, two things, possibly uh, the patience to work on this partnership or patience while one is at the crossroads. Um, so this could be the divine masculine is that um, he might be having a patience uh, when it comes to the divine feminine so it could be you know this timing factor in here maybe he's patiently waiting for her especially if she might be involved with another person so let's see why the eight of pentacles is here for divine feminine and her intentions towards divine masculine there you go work it girl i'm <laughs> sorry i just had to come out she put an effort into her herself that's it that's what her intentions is Putting effort into being divine feminine being who she truly truly is. That's what she is. So what I'm getting is if you're not wanting to put the effort into the divine feminine, that's not going to work from her. That's not going to work for her. She is. Her intention is that this divine masculine needs to put in the work, put in the effort towards her. And that's it. No ifs, ands, or buts major transformation she's tired of this energy that's that's it okay that's it that's all <laughs> all right so their mutual energy and their intentions fresh start yep major transformation they're wanting a fresh start they're uh, looking out. Maybe um, they both are wanting to start over. Maybe they want to end whatever past stuff that happened between them and start fresh. Or they could be open to just a fresh start, period. You know, just a fresh way out of this energy of loneliness and into this. And I do feel that they, you know, with this little, uh, this is earth um, energy with this this um, 3D, 3D um, energy you know, wanting to start something fresh, being open to the connection. They both are open to it, like starting from the beginning, but not the same. Okay. No, uh, none of the, whatever came with it, whatever baggage or burdens that came with the connection before that is no longer acceptable. All right. I'm going to need to go ahead and speed this up a little bit because I'm getting close to my timeline. Oh no. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. So Intentions, Divine Masculine, towards Divine Feminine. Pawn Situation. Okay, so I created this card that there's a, this is when there is possibly someone is almost like being blackmailed kind of energy. There's a children involved um, and someone is being used by, um, you know, the children to keep them into the connection and things of that nature. So what I'm feeling is, that um, 
this divine masculine is possibly uh, open or having patience because maybe he's involved in a situation that in, involves upon a situation. So there's a need for him to be patient uh, towards her um, because of whatever he's dealing with that he hasn't um, dealt with. And then for Divine Feminine. I'm going through some things. So Divine Feminine and her intention is to put the work in her into herself. Because she's going through some things. You know, it could be because of the quarantine. It could be this connection. But she's got a lot going on. And she's just putting effort into herself. That's what her intention. So if Divine Masculine or anyone else is not going to put the effort in. Uh, she's just still going to focus on herself and then their mutual energy of intentions. You are very attractive. Yeah, so they're 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 both find each other very attractive. They do want a fresh start with each other. But again, they are no longer wanting to be in this energy of being alone and sad. So let's get one more for each section and then that's going to be it. The butterfly relationship evolving into the next fade, healing the inner child growth. See, this divine masculine is intentions is to heal a situation involving a child that's being used for a pawn situation. He's ready to go into the next phase. This is changing. So this is some of you that guys might be involved with uh, um, children involved in the equation. That's changing. I got that message recently, too. So Divine Feminine and her attentions. Stab in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock and attack. So what I'm getting from this is Divine Feminine is working on this energy of not feeling this uh, betrayal, this heartbreak, this pain. So she's put in an effort to change that, to change maybe any kind of resentment or anything she might have had towards the divine masculine. But she's changing that. That's what she's putting the effort in. And then she might want him to put the effort into that as well. Okay. And then they're mutual. Love call, mutual. Someone expresses love, a message in love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, so some of you are going to receive a fresh start, a, a call, a love call from your divine masculine, or at least you're both wanting this. You're both wanting a fresh start. You're no longer wanting to be in this energy of being sad. Okay, that's what I'm getting. All right, you guys, I'm close to my timeline, so that's going to be it. I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please like, comment, or share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in description with the link. If you wanted to pre-order uh, my new deck, that information is also um, uh, uh, available below in the link as well as all of these cars and most of the items you see so i want to thank each and every one of you for watching have a good day or night whatever it is wherever you are and until next time next video peace love and light